from the Cube Studios in Palo Alto and Boston. It's the Cube, covering IBM Think. Brought to you by IBM. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. This is Dave Vellante, and you're watching the Cube's coverage of IBM Think 2020, the digital version of IBM Think. And the Cube is pleased to be providing the wall-to-wall -wall coverage as we have physically for you know so many years at big IBM events. Jesus Mantas is here. He's the managing partner for global strategy for uh, IBM and the global business services. Jesus, gr great to see you. Thanks for coming on. Great to be here, Dave. So every guest that we've talked to uh, this week, really, we've talked about COVID, uh, but just briefly. Uh, here, we're going to do a bigger drill down and really try to get, uh, Jesus, your perspectives and IBM's point of view on what's going on here. So let me start with, I mean, we've never seen anything like this before, obviously. I mean, there are some examples. You got to go back to 1918 to try to get some similarities, but 1918 is a long, long time ago. So, so what's different about this? What, what are the similarities? Yeah, it's, uh, uh, you know what uh, Mark Twain used to say, that history doesn't repeat, but it often rhymes. Uh, I think there are similarities of what we are experiencing right now in this pandemic with other pandemics like Spanish flu. I think uh, the situation is unique in terms of uh, the impact and the synchronicity of that impact, right? So we can go back to other, if you want, economic crisis or uh, society crisis where you have either one country or one aspect being disrupted, but this is really a uh, society being disrupted, you know, at a global scale. Uh, so its impact is unprecedented in that, in that perspective in, in modern time. And I think all of us are adjusting to it. I want to ask you about digital transformation uh, because I've made the point that, you know, while a lot of people talk digital transformation, there's been a lot of complacency. People say, yeah, not in my lifetime. Well, we're a bank, we're making a lot of money, we're doing okay. How do you think COVID-19 will sort of change that complacency and really accelerate digital transformation as a, a mindset and actually turn it into action? Yeah, I think the best way to put it is um, digital transformation five months ago was about obtaining a competitive advantage. And digital transformation today in many industries is about survival. Uh, that, mm. is, that is how big of a change uh, it is the um, the need for efficiency and cost savings, uh, the need for resiliency that we have talked about, uh, the need to be able to um, to drive agility, to be able to switch and adapt, uh, the need to make hyper local decisions, right? To use data, uh, none of that can be done unless you have fully digitized uh, processes. You are consuming local data, and you have trained the people to really um, operate in those new, uh, more intelligent processes. So it has gone from optionality is, okay, you can do okay, but if you digitize, you're going to do better, to unless you digitize, your business may not exist next year. I think that's the change. The change is, I think now is widely understood that uh, the majority of our digitize, digitization processes have to be accelerated. And, and I would say that is a, a great statistic that, um, when we go back in history, and uh, there has been many, as I mentioned, of this crisis, uh, you can look back at the two behaviors that businesses have. One is to play defense, and then what happens two years later? And the other one is, okay, you defense, but you immediately switch to offense, and then what happens uh, two years later? Those companies that use this time to just defend and hunker down, history said, in a couple of years later, 21% of them outperform. But those businesses that they shift from defense to offense and actually accelerate in these cases, um, uh, programs like digitalization, 37% outperform. So there is a premium for businesses that right now actually immediately switch to offense, focus on this uh, set of digitalization and, and empowering cloud, uh, managing data, ensuring the skills of the people, uh, they're more likely not only to survive, but thrive in the next few years than those that just use this time to defend. To your point, it's about survival. It's not about you, you know, not getting disrupted because you're going to get disrupted. It's almost a certainty. And, and so in order to survive, you've got to digitally transform. Your, your final thoughts on digital transformation, then I want to ask you if there's a silver lining in all this. I think um, what we do, we, we can't change the context. 
Um, but we cannot let the context define who we are either as individuals or as company. What we can do is to choose how do we act on that context. I would say um, uh, those organizations and those individuals that take advantage of the situation to understand that some of these behaviors are going to change, understand that the, the more that we shift technology to the cloud, the more that we shift workflows to the cloud, the more that we use technologies like uh, artificial intelligence and drive nonlinear decisions that massively optimize everything we do from the way that we deliver healthcare to the way that we uh, manage supply chains, to the way that we secure food, frankly, to the way that we protect the environment. There is a silver lining that technology, it is one of those solutions that can help in all of these areas. And uh, the silver lining of this is, is hopefully let's use this time to get better prepared for the next pandemic, to get better prepared for the next crisis, to implement technologies that drive efficiency faster, they create new jobs, they protect the environment. And while we cannot change the fact that we have COVID-19, uh, we can change what happens after uh, COVID-19. So what we return to is something better than what we enter uh, before COVID-19. Very thoughtful commentary, Jesus. Thank you so much for, for coming on theCUBE. Uh, blessings to your, to your family and yourself. I appreciate it, Dave. Uh, thank you and thank you for everything you do to uh, keep everybody informed. Uh, really our pleasure. And thank you for watching everybody. This is Dave Vellante. You're watching theCUBE's coverage of IBM Think 2020, the digital event. We'll be right back right after this short break.